One of the great things about living in the United States, it's, it's a land of opportunity, it's where dreams come true. And a lot of that's driven by innovation. A lot of that's driven by entrepreneurship. The advancement of the world happens every day in somebody's brain, made real in a product or a service. It's unfortunate that there are, there's an element and it's a big element out there of people seeking to do harm. And what they do is try to infiltrate that goodness, that spirit, and they want to steal it. There are some very sinister things that take place. Our goal as a company is to identify, protect, and defeat the threats that are out there. We try to be a positive and a different uh, force to counter the negative effects that are out there, not only from a technical perspective, but also from our cultural perspective. We started developing a culture early on, unrealizing that that was what we were doing. You know, we doing things we thought were good to do for the right reasons. What I hadn't realized what we were doing was building a foundation. If you think of, of, of concrete or cement before it hardens, you have to have the ingredients in there before it gets dry and hard. If it's not there, you can't just paint it on. It doesn't work that way. Just like in a cyber attack, if you don't have hardened systems, if you will, they're not ready for attack. I would submit to you an organization is the same way. If you don't have a hardened system of solid values and people know what they can trust to expect, then when adversity strikes, you may not be ready. And I was very grateful that we had started doing that because we have been faced with adversity. Many years ago, when we first were starting out, we had this very big blessing of, of a new contract. It was basically giving us a, a lifeblood for our company. I guess we inspired a government person to want to join our company. This person saw the way we were operating. She wanted to be part of that. She wanted us to hire her. And she was our manager on the government side. And that's a conflict by itself, we, there's no way we can hire her. She launched an attack against us. She started trying to undermine everything we were doing and was reporting to her leadership that we were failing. And it got very dark. I say that was one of the darkest times of our company. And what rose out of it were the heroic efforts of our people, the hearts joined together, and they decided that we're not gonna let this affect us in a negative way. And so, through a lot of prayer, uh, be honest about that, a lot of prayer, I gave it all to God, and the events occurred where we came out in a shining way. If you visually picture in a dark cave, and you are one little match, you are one little spark, that stands out much brighter because you're in a dark space. If you can shine even just a little bit, that the relative light that you shine on people is much brighter. The story's not over it either. I mean, who knows what's coming around the next corner, but I feel we're ready for it.